It's nearly 10 o'clock, when many hotel guests will be thinking of heading to bed. But the music concert is just about to start. We've been doing this for 20 years, we've been playing music. I think Gordon's going to like it. I don't do drugs, so I never thought I'd see a dancing mushroom, but I was wrong. I recognize the smell. It's like the summer of love. These people are weird, but they sure are friendly. Nice to see you, Nina. I love you too. Is this a dream? Is this really happening? So, are you checking in? I'm so sorry. Welcome to the fucking madhouse. Your room is uh, up these log stairs right behind you here. It's insane how guests are trying to check in over this racket. If I had arrived to this, I would have gotten on the first plane back home. I don't think I'll be able to relax here. I can't really escape the sound. Wow. And the longer the music goes on, the more guests complain. I can't hear you. You guys want to come back here? You know what? It's on me tonight, OK? We're going to make you happy no matter what. OK? All right. With Joanna giving away okay. rooms for free, the lodge is losing money, pushing this hotel further into debt. Sorry to disturb you. Are you well? I'm so sorry. Do you mind? Listen, we've got some issues downstairs and found some pretty horrific stuff. I know you're ready for bed. I'm sorry. That's OK. I honestly didn't think they were going to put anyone in here today. Shit, I'm right. Look, inside. What is it? That's mold underneath. <gasps> no, you denied. Did, no, you denied, really. <laughs> that is disgusting. Um, I did a bacteria test. I've been doing them all day. On my shower curtain was mold. <gasps> I just took a shower. Oh, shit. We just give me two minutes, OK? Oh, my god. I'm going to be really frank, and I'm going to try to stay so calm. But if I smell BS that you start going into denial, I'm going to let rip again. I studied your reservations. Last November, December, 49 rooms were given out for free. And on top of that, they ate, they drank. For nothing. I'm not even tipping. And I'm just, what the fuck are you doing? Tell me why. I thought I'd needed to have somebody here. Rather than having two other guests in the hotel all by themselves, to have more energy. No, You're I making it worse. Not only do your friends not leave tips, but when people do tip the staff, you take a share. On nights that I work, I did take tips. That is disgusting. Why do you think you got a right to that? I have tried to work with my staff to teach them that this is the way I want service done. You're so bad. I take a percentage of the tips based on the amount of work that I do. Yeah. And who does the books on those tips? Uh, Ari. <laughs> but if I'm doing their job and I can't get it across to them... You're the owner. You're not the head bus boy. You're not the barman. You're the fucking owner. What I was saying wasn't getting through. So the psychology was that if I started to take tips, they would maybe pay attention to that. That is insane. It's the worst management model I've ever heard in my entire life. Do you honestly need a 70-year-old lady's tips? No. So 15, 20 grand's worth of complimentary rooms in the food in a two-month period. I'm just, well, it doesn't I, make sense. I have to tell you that the reason Please. I did that was because I thought that they would at least tip my staff. But they didn't tip your staff. Sorry to piss on your bonfire. Well, then I will call my friends and I will tell them, look, what happened? You haven't got the fucking balls to call your friends and ask them to leave a tip. Yes, I do. Call them, then. and ask them, I thought, at least, out of generosity, you would have left a couple of hundred dollars tip for the team. Hello? Dana? Yeah? It's Robert. You stayed here recently, and um, I was under the impression that you and Greg left a tip. Did you leave a no, tip? I left some money with you. No, 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 but you said you were going to send additional tip. You mean 
I think my time's done here. That was one of the things that I was hoping you had done. Um, if I didn't do what I was supposed to do, I'm very sorry, and I'll... I left the no, money no, no. with you. Well, wait a minute. There's others to call, too. Gordon. Oh, dear. Gordon has left. He thinks I'm stealing my staff's tips. Unbelievable. Joke. Hey, Ray, it's Robert. Did you tip the staff? Because they're telling people that they haven't been tipped. I left the money with you. Oh, so I need to do that. I, I have somehow lost that. Fucking idiot. So you have done nothing since you came in here but talk about me behind my back, try to set me up to fail every fucking day. Why and do I want to make you look I don't know. Well, I know. wish the hell I did know, but I've got several people we can line up and we'll tell them exactly what you said and to I, them. I imagine we will, you know. Then I can hear the no... same thing about you, Bullshit. you know. I'll leave, and the only thing you'll say, the parting words, not to me, is I hope he hangs himself. Now, how horrible is that when I'm doing an event here? Well, I'll tell you how horrible it is. About as horrible as when somebody hires all new people and tells each and every one of them that she's a bitch to work for, you can't work with her, but hang in there because in six months, I'll be running this place and she'll be gone. I mean, literally, right out of the box. Right out of the box. So there you go. You so have that's what no... it all goes back to. Yeah, because that's when I found out what an untrustworthy, backstabbing son of a bitch you are. I gotta worry about my back continuously with you. What? This major miracle man that was supposed to come in here and double and triple this business when there's been no change whatsoever. None. Was I allowed but to make any changes? Or like direct, dramatically you, you make wanted any to, You wanted to hire new people, which you did. Of course, you told each and every one of them that they shouldn't work for me. Oh, for God's sake. Is that true? There was the impression given that Callie would no longer be here whenever oh, we were brought she over She owns here. the place. Why were you suggesting that she's not going to be here after Sierra starts? I don't recall that. <laughs> Poor shit. Wow. It just wasn't what? her. She all, it wasn't right. her. It was Annie. It you was Kristen. Really... It was everybody. Oh, my God. Does the general manager badmouth the owner behind her back? Yes. Of course she doesn't trust you if you're going to badmouth her behind your back. If you were the owner, what would you do? I would fire that person that badmouthed me. You're fired.